Hi, it's Mr. Anderson and this is AP Physics Essentials video 23. It's on the scalar field. In the last video we talked about a vector field which shows the position of vector quantities and a scalar field is essentially the same thing but instead of showing the direction of all those quantities it just gives the magnitude of the quantity itself. And so we'll see these in pressure scalar fields, we'll see them in temperature scalar fields, and then we'll also deal with some uh, in electric potential. And So can you figure out what this is a picture of? Well this is a thermal image and so it's a scalar field. We could look right here and we would see the temperature at that one point or that one position. I would say it's around maybe 32 and a half degrees Celsius. We could also look right here and find what is the temperature at that point so we match up the color and I would say maybe it's around 24 degrees Celsius. But have you figured out what it is? Have you figured out the source of this scalar field? Well this is a human who is warm blooded with a snake wrapped around its hand. And so what is a scalar field? It shows us the position of scalar quantities. Now scalar quantities are just a magnitude. And so in physics too, these are going to be, the most important one would be dealing with a scalar field of electric potential. In other words, if you're given charges, you should be able to figure out the scalar fields of that area. And to do that, lots of times you'll have to add different scalar quantities, and so we have to understand how scalar addition works. And so let's say I give you a bunch of random numbers like this. Can you see any patterns in these random numbers? Certain areas they're higher, certain areas they're lower. But if I were to connect a lot of these with what are called isolines, where we're seeing they're the same value, then you start to see an image here. And so this would be a topographic map, essentially. It's showing us where the elevation is the same, where are all the scalar quantities equal. And if you know anything about this, you would be able to figure out what this object looks like in three dimensions. We'd have areas where it's higher, areas where it's lower. One thing you'll notice is that none of these isolines ever cross. They're never going to have the same elevation, for example, at one point. And we'll find the same thing in physics. And so now let me study electric potential. This is a PHET simulation. You could go there and play around with this on your own. And so what we're, I'm going to give you is a bunch of voltages in different areas in two dimensions. And so we have high voltages you can see centered right around here. And so you might guess that there's going to be a positive charge right there. And the farther we move away, we're going to have a lower positive charge. And so we could draw in ISO lines, 18 volt, 9 volt, 6 volt. And so we can start to see why this one right here has a scalar quantity of 6.3 because it's somewhere between 6 and 9. Let's say we were to look at a negative charge and we were to plot all the scalar quantities, we would get a scalar field. You can see here that they're all negative values, negative 18 here, negative 9 around that, negative 6 around that. And so that makes sense. The farther we move away from the charge, the less voltage we have, or the less potential we have. What, how would you do it if we took those two charges, however? How would you take those two scalar fields and then bring them together? Well, let's choose one point. So at this one point between, remember the positive gave a positive 18 volts. The negative gave a negative 18 volts. And so all you have to do is simply add those two numbers together. And so what would we get? Zero voltage is what we should find when we have those two quantities together. What about up here? It's 9 volts. It's negative 6.3 volts from the negative charge. And so we simply add those up and I get 2.7 volts at that one quantity. So scalar addition just says take the two quantities and add them together. And so when I use the PHET simulation, I found at that one point it's 2.7 volts. And so you can move it around and check your scalar addition. You can also add color and that color, just like that thermal image color, shows us where we're going to have positive values and where we're going to have negative values. You can then add different charges and we can start to see how those uh, scalar fields are affecting each other. If I pause this for a second, we would see right here in the middle, since it's, since it's white in color, there's going to be no charge, zero volts. But you can see right here in the middle, there's going to be a certain amount of a negative charge right there. And so did you learn how electric potential affects scalar fields? Which again, just show us the position of scalar quantities. I hope so, and I hope that was helpful.